I can't even talk to the camera. First Mother's Day without her. Rough time at the moment. I was like... <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Oh my god, I love it already. Tuesday the 11th of May, peep my new pajama pants. Maria and Tiff got them for me on Mother's Day, which was so cute. I love them. Let me look at that. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to get my camera out because I'm doing something really exciting at the moment. Also, love how much I've been vlogging this month. It's probably going to be a really long vlog, but that's okay, I guess. But tonight, it's like 6.30 at the moment. At 7, I've got a Zoom course. It's like an influencer course run by Madison Woolley and Lexi Murray. They are well-known influencers themselves and I'm really excited because I've been watching Madison since like lockdown last year and I religiously watch her videos. Like I watch all of them besides try on hauls. I don't like try on hauls yet. I film them myself. Anyway, some people just like them and I'm not one of those people, but <laughs> I absolutely love her and I feel like we have heaps of similarities. So I'm literally going to be fangirling, but it's a really jam-packed course. You literally find find out everything that influencers keep secret about their job like how much to charge how to work with brands how to reach the right target audience and all that stuff so i think it will be really valuable and i'm so excited and yeah i thought i'd just tell you what's happening before i actually have to do it i can't wait i'm such a fan girl oh my god i have 15 minutes to go i'm all set up i'm really nervous i put my lights on in the background in case we have to put our camera on but i hope i don't because i look like this um yeah, I'm nervous. I feel like I'm going for like a work interview because this is where I used to sit when I did my Zoom interviews last year. Not fun, but anyway. Why am I nervous? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, let's do this. Wait, I need to. Can you guys all just say if you guys are here? Basically, Madison always says Queens, so I typed, Hey Queens, and she said my comment was cute, so I freaked out. Okay. It is Saturday the 15th of May and not a whole lot is happening today. I've just got work and then actually I have a bit on today, more than usual. I have work for five hours, which is pretty good. And then I'm actually going to one of my cheer friends' house. <laughs> She's just having a group of girls over just to chill, maybe have a couple of drinks. So that'll be fun. But yeah, that's my plans today. But basically I wanted to just vlog and tell you guys what happened yesterday because I don't know, it was pretty cool. And I think some of you may enjoy hearing this. Basically it's about signs from those who have passed away and all that stuff so if you don't like believe in that or it's just a weird topic or touchy for you then just skip ahead but for those of you who want to listen to my experience yesterday let me begin <laughs> so I've obviously done a little bit of research on like signs that you can get from loved ones who have passed away and like if you've ever experienced loss you probably know anything that can bring you peace and comfort you'll probably just like go towards it and just believe it even if it is or isn't true so I've done a lot of research on like signs from those who have passed just so I can get a bit of comfort if I do like get those signals and stuff and basically it can come in many forms it can be like numbers music electricity dreams um there's probably a whole bunch more I actually bought a book on it it's called signs from the other side so when I get it when I read it I'll let you guys know how it goes I'm really excited for that but that is roughly what I know of how they can like communicate with you let's get to the story yesterday I was at work and I wear my apple watch so obviously I get like snapchat notifications and stuff I got a snapchat chat notification and out of all of them this is the only one i look at what's the time it's 555 yes it's an angel number and it is 555 which i dedicate to mum. yeah i was just like whoa that's kind of cool but i do see angel numbers on the time all the time <laughs> So I was like, eh, 
not crazy crazy and then we're closing we've probably got about 10 minutes till close and i'm just with some other girl and i hear um the tones and i song fly away which was played at my mom's funeral that was playing in the center and i haven't heard it since the funeral so obviously it like triggered me and i was like trying to block it out but we had one customer come in at the very end and she bought 900 dollars worth of clothing so it was like a mega sale for us that's what we call it and i don't know i was just thinking the time i was like whoa maybe like that was a sign from mom because i heard the song and then we just had that customer come in maybe she was just telling me like she's gonna be a good sale like keep on her case and help her out kind of thing i don't know so i was like oh not sure about that one i'll connect the dots and i'll try and make it work then this one gets me <laughs> so i'm on my way home from work i get some kfc on the way home and i'm just driving down and i stop at some lights because they've gone red i probably could have gone through but i didn't want to get a speeding fine or a, i don't know fine for it if i went through so i stopped waiting at the lights goes green i start to go i'm midway through the intersection what happens the traffic lights go out they go out as i'm in the middle of the intersection they start flashing all different colors like they go from orange green orange green like they don't just like turn off they're like flashing through all the colors as well and it's not like flashing if you see the lights just like red going on and off it was like all the colors and i was like what <laughs> and for it to happen as soon as i'm in the middle of the intersection like no other car had gone because i floored it i was ready to get home so i went quick and i was the only one in the middle and they changed what are the chances of seeing the traffic lights turn off and for it to happen when it's your turn to drive and when you're in the middle that's when it stops so that freaked me out and i was like whoa that was definitely a sign and then of course last night i have a dream about mum as well as you guys know i've had previous dreams about her and i've spoken to kayla about this as well she's so into this stuff and um she was really excited because like in the dream we we're both crying and she's like maybe that was like genuinely her like you guys were together you were crying you had that emotion last night again in my dream we were at home and it was so weird because in my dream it was like this time like mum had already passed away but she was visiting in my dream afterwards she was hugging me and crying and she was just telling me like not to worry about her she said um to not stay out late at night and to take care of honey which is my poodle which is like mum's little best friend her little shadow i was like oh my god the fact that i remember those little things that she was telling me in the dream and for her to be in my dream after all of those things that happened yesterday crazy i don't know take what you want of that but <laughs> i've heard people who have lost loved ones too and have had some pretty creepy stuff happen just like weird out of the blue things but like yeah i thought some of you may like to know about that i thought it was really cool and for four things four different ways of communicating to happen in one day I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you, fill in some time before I start work. But yeah, that's my update. I'll see if I can film anything tonight. I'm not quite sure. We'll see what happens. But yeah. Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. It begins with a whisper. Suddenly all we held dear was on the line So it's Tuesday the 18th of May um, today is actually one month since mum passed away and there was probably a little montage of what we did today before me talking now but basically I thought I was feeling okay in the morning and then my brother came in my room and was asking me like how I'm going and then I just broke down crying <laughs> and like I thought I was doing okay not gonna lie I was crying the past two days so I thought I got all emotions out of me but I didn't um so i had a bit of a cry this morning and i think it was much needed but um feeling a bit better now still a bit touchy uh dad and i went to i always get this wrong I accidentally tagged the wrong place on instagram um San... <sighs> santorino no i did not go to San... where did i go sorrento <laughs> um dad and i went to sorrento hotel for i don't know 
We went there for lunch. It was really nice. We both got Palmer's. And then we drove around Sorrento a little more. And we found like some cute little like just like a strip of shops. And they had like some really fancy clothing stores like Witchery into Cuba. Amongst like your typical chemist and ice cream store and stuff like that. But that was really nice. We got an ice cream. We are both extremely full at the moment. Um, and we just got home. And at the moment I was planning on calling in Dota because I want to get a massage. Because I just need one. I just need to be cracked and snapped in half. That would feel great. <laughs> but yeah, I need to call them soon because they close at 6 o'clock and it's like 5.30. I also checked online and I don't think they have any availability, but it may be different if I call. I'm not sure. This is Danny. Hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. A 60 minute massage either tomorrow afternoon or Friday or Thursday morning, actually. I don't have anything tomorrow or Thursday morning. Oh, okay. No, that's all good. Thank you. No worries. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Why was that so awkward? <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna wait until I feel like I need the massage. Because I needed it like two weeks ago. Not really now. I'm feeling okay. Maybe I'll save it. Okay, anyway, I spent um, a good portion of yesterday. Good portion? Good proportion. I spent a while yesterday making a tribute video for mum. And it was very hard to make. But I made it and I want to post it tonight. I want to put it on YouTube because I just feel weird posting a vlog and acting like nothing happened. Because something very dramatic in my life has happened. And I feel like I should share the type of person that my mum was to everyone. Even if some people never met her. At least they get like an insight of who she was. Because she was incredible. One of a kind. Everyone says that. But she was genuinely like unheard of. She was superwoman and the half. But yeah, I'm gonna post that tonight. I'm definitely not looking for sympathy because that literally just makes me more emotional. But I just wanna post it as a tribute in recognition and just because today is one month and I feel like it's suitable to do so. Yeah, I will catch you another day. <laughs> So, it's Friday the 21st of May, and today's like my last day off before I start uni again, so... My dumbass doesn't know how to read a calendar, and turns out I had another week of holidays. But, um, I have the whole day off, so we've organized... My auntie has come down from Sydney, and we're gonna make the most of it. And go see her and my grandparents on my dad's side. So we're gonna go down to Torquay and have some lunch. I think we're going to this Italian place, so... Love it. Italian is my favorite. Low key, want to date an Italian guy so I can be fed Italian food all the time. <laughs> but yeah, that's the plan for today. I have about 10 minutes until I need to leave, so I'll probably just get myself ready, pop some jewelry on or something, and then yeah, go down to Torquay and I'll try and film a little bit while we're down there as well. Also, <laughs> I may as well tell you now in case I don't get to film tomorrow, but I've got my best friend Abby's 18th party tomorrow So so excited. She's a little baby of the group. She's finally 18 Can't wait to go out with all of the girls. So yeah, that's tomorrow after work I'll try and film as much as I can but I thought I'd just tell you in case I'm running around like a headless chalk And I can't tell you what's actually happening. So there you go <laughs> So today is Wednesday the 26th of May and today is my mum's birthday she would have been 54 years old today it's been another hard day but it's the third one it was the lucky last one we had to get through so yeah the hard part's nearly done but obviously today is a day of celebration so that's exactly what we did um i had the day off work so my dad and i took out my nan and pop and my mum's side out for lunch we went to the yarra valley no yarra valley yarra Glen. We went to the Yarra Glen chocolate shop, which is literally where mum probably would have gone. If she was still with us, she would have gone there for her birthday lunch. So we went there. It's her favorite place. And that was really nice. Now I'm back home. I have like an hour to spare. And then we're going to Grilled with my sister, her fiance, and Maria and Tiff. Yeah, that will be a nice little catch up. But that is yet to happen. Little reflection on today, just in case you wanted to know. I don't know. It's kind of the same as like Mother's Day and one month. Like I wake up okay. 
it, it doesn't really hit me and then like the middle of the day I'm like I just feel more emotions when I'm like well and truly into the day but yeah it's been kind of easier because not many people know her birthday's today unless they notice the funeral card that people received if they attended um it's got obviously her birth date on there so people would know but um we haven't been getting many messages which is easier for us because not as much like sympathy and realization that it's another hard day without it. So it's kind of been a bit easier in that aspect. But at lunch, <laughs> it was a bit hard. We all got a bit emotional just kind of talking about mum's final day and couple of weeks. I don't know if I'll get around to sharing much of that. It's obviously very raw still and very painful to talk about. But there were some very good things that worked well the day that she passed away. So we were kind of reflecting on those, but we, I don't know, it's a bit hard. We try not to focus on that because it's her birthday and it's a day of celebration. And we still did do that. We still spoke about how incredible and different she was. And oh, I could talk about her for days. <laughs> she was just like very, very special. Um, I saw a couple of signs today and you guys are probably so sick of me telling you all these little things that are happening but i thought i'd just tell you guys anyway because some of you may be interested first sign nan and pop met at our place so then we could all go in one car and road trip down there together and so we got into my car we took my car down today and when i listen to music i plug my phone in and i only listen to like my spotify and i never listen to the radio i couldn't even tell you what radio station was like already preset on my car when it first turns on i have no idea but we get in the car dad's driving he doesn't connect his phone obviously and the first song that comes on is fly away but we only just hear the end of it but like as soon as the car started and that was playing i knew straight away and then dad realized too we, <laughs> we both just looked at each other and were like the song <laughs> So we have this thing where whenever the song Fly Away comes on, we just are like, oh my god, that's her. So that happened, and then we get to the chocolate shop, because COVID is now a thing. There's like 15 cases today or something, and today was the first day we had to wear masks. Um, We obviously had to wait, scan our QR code, and then someone took us to the table. Anyway, someone comes to get us, walking a little bit so we could see like the rest of the tables, and she's like, oh, how does um, table number 25 sound? of all tables it wasn't even like packed number 25 mum's favorite number and um dad's like yep 25 beautiful <laughs> and then the third thing that happened was my mum loves chocolate and every time we'd go to like a chocolate shop doesn't even have to be this one in particular she always get chocolate shots which is just a cup of straight melted chocolate dad had already planned he's like oh i'm gonna get a chocolate shot today for mom and because i know she would order one so i'm gonna get one and he doesn't usually do that so he got one an extra one and i get one with my hot chocolate and my waffles so i already get two and he ordered a separate one anyway my hot chocolate comes i've got my one and they're like oh we got the extra one on there too so i was like all right that's dad's and then they come over with my waffles Waffles. There's my waffle chocolate shot and then another one and the lady's like, oh, here's your extra chocolate shot And then she notices we've got one on the table already and she's like, oh, you already got it and She's like, oh, don't worry. Keep it. I won't tell the kitchen kind of thing and like I don't know if that's much of a sign But we've never had a mistake with the amount that we ordered at that chocolate shop before So it was a little bit weird for them to give us extra But then I don't know it's also like that extra one was mum's kind of thing Like dad got his ones. I got my ones and there was that extra so we'll like Yep, that's mum's one kind of thing. <laughs> but yeah, those were the little signs from today. It was really nice just to have those little like, oh my god, that's so mum type of thing happen. Anyway, that's it for today. <laughs> okay, actually, <laughs> there's one more thing I wanted to talk about that I just remembered. It was about the full moon tonight. <laughs> This is like another sign. There was a full moon on the date of mum's funeral. It wasn't in Australia, but in America, it would have been the date. But that was a full moon and it's a full moon on mum's birthday, which is tonight. Not only is it a full moon, but it's a super moon. There is a link between my zodiac sign and mum's zodiac sign. There is a total lunar eclipse on May 26th as well. As I found it. It's a total lunar eclipse as well as a super blood moon tonight. Here's what you need to know. Falling in the sign of Sagittarius while this which is me. Oh, and then it says while the sun is in the sign of Gemini. It is literally my sign and mum's sign tonight on her birthday, and it's a fancy moon. <laughs> like I just thought that was like really weird and cool. Second dude, it's still like, oh, you're <laughs>